For years, scientists believed that the story of Filipinos was simple. Their DNA was thought to come mostly from Austronesian-speaking migrants, who sailed south from Taiwan a few thousand years ago. This neat explanation seemed to align with the languages, cultures, and traditions found across the archipelago. But when scientists finally began to study Filipino DNA in detail, they uncovered something surprising. The story was anything but simple. Instead of a straightforward migration, the genetic code of Filipinos revealed a strange layered history involving extinct human species, mysterious ancient lineages, and some of the most complex mixing events found anywhere in the world. It turns out the Philippines is not just another island nation. Its people carry some of the rarest and most surprising DNA on the planet. So why is Filipino DNA considered the strangest in the world? To answer that, we'll need to travel back tens of thousands of years, across ancient seas, through forgotten kingdoms, and into the very heart of human prehistory. The earliest humans arrived in the Philippines at least 50,000 years ago, long before Austronesian seafarers or colonial empires existed. Archaeological sites, such as Kalao Cave in northern Luzon, suggest that small-bodied hominins, possibly even a unique species now called Homo luzonensis, once roamed the islands. Their exact relationship to modern Filipinos is still debated, but their presence reveals that human history in the Philippines stretches deeper than once believed. Meanwhile, genetic studies show that today's indigenous groups, often called Negritos, carry some of the oldest lineages in all of Asia. These groups, like the Aita, the Agta, and the Batak, split from other modern human populations tens of thousands of years ago. Their DNA preserves signals of an incredibly ancient migration, one that predates later arrivals by millennia. This means that while much of Asia was reshaped by later waves of farmers and empires, the Philippines quietly held on to lineages that serve as living fossils of humanity's earliest journeys. One of the most shocking findings in Filipino genetics came from the discovery of unusually high levels of Denisovan ancestry. Denisovans were a mysterious species of archaic humans, related to Neanderthals, who lived across Asia until they vanished tens of thousands of years ago. Most modern populations outside Africa carry tiny traces of either Neanderthal or Denisovan DNA. But among Filipinos, especially indigenous groups like the Aita Magbukon, the Denisovan signal is stronger than anywhere else in the world. A 2021 study found that the Aita carry as much as 5% Denisovan DNA, far higher than the 2% seen in most Asians. This means that when the earliest humans entered the Philippines, they encountered and interbred with Denisovans. And unlike most of the world, where Denisovan DNA faded over time, the Philippines preserved one of the strongest genetic echoes of these ancient humans. In other words, living Filipinos are not just descendants of Homo sapiens. They carry, inside them, a remarkable genetic inheritance from a vanished species. Around 4,000 years ago, a dramatic wave of migration swept down from Taiwan into the Philippines. These were the Austronesians, master sailors who pioneered one of the greatest maritime expansions in human history. They carried new technologies, agricultural practices, and languages that still dominate the islands today. Genetic research shows that the Austronesians mixed with the older Negrito populations rather than replacing them. The result was a blending of lineages that created a unique identity. Linguistically, Austronesian languages spread widely, but in DNA, the story was more complicated. Filipino genomes today show varying levels of Austronesian ancestry, higher in coastal areas, lower in isolated mountain tribes. This proves that early encounters between migrants and natives left deep, lasting imprints. But here's where the story takes a strange twist. While Austronesian ancestry dominates culturally, the ancient Negrito and Denisovan roots 
remain embedded in the DNA. No other Austronesian-speaking population shows this exact combination. For thousands of years, the Philippines was not an isolated world. It was a meeting point for traders, empires, and explorers, each leaving their mark on the local population. Chinese traders settled in parts of the Philippines long before Europeans arrived, introducing Han Chinese ancestry into the population. In the 16th century, Spanish colonizers established a global trade network linking Manila to Mexico, Peru, and Spain. While intermarriage with Spaniards was limited compared to Latin America, European DNA still entered the Filipino gene pool. Later, American colonization in the early 20th century added another subtle layer, particularly in urban centers. Meanwhile, Arab traders influenced the South, bringing not only Islam, but also small traces of Middle Eastern ancestry. The result is a genetic landscape shaped by centuries of contact. Unlike isolated island populations, Filipinos are connected to nearly every major wave of Asian and global history. When scientists describe Filipino DNA as strange, they don't mean it in a negative sense. They mean it's uniquely complex. It carries unusual combinations not found anywhere else. Filipinos have deep Denisovan ancestry, stronger than any other population. They preserve ancient Negrito lineages that split from other humans over 40,000 years ago. They carry Austronesian ancestry that links them to the farthest reaches of Polynesia and even Madagascar. And on top of that, they've absorbed later admixture from Chinese, Spanish, Americans, and Arabs. This isn't just diversity. It's layers of time stacked on top of each other, each wave preserving a different chapter of human history. Other populations might share one or two of these elements, but only in the Philippines do they all converge in a single genome. Some of the most important insights come from indigenous groups like the Aita, the Agta, and the Manobo. Their genetic signatures are so distinct that they act like time capsules, preserving traces of early humans long lost elsewhere. For example, the Aita Magbukon don't just have Denisovan ancestry. They may have inherited DNA from a unique Denisovan population one that was more closely related to Filipinos than to Tibetans or Papua New Guineans. That suggests Southeast Asia once hosted multiple Denisovan groups, each interbreeding with humans at different times. The genetic distinctiveness of these communities is so strong that scientists warn it's at risk of disappearing due to modernization, migration, and intermarriage. In other words, the clues to humanity's deepest history may be fading, even as we uncover them. The unusual nature of Filipino DNA also carries medical consequences. Because of ancient mixing and later genetic bottlenecks, certain hereditary diseases are more common among Filipinos. At the same time, some genetic variants provide resilience against malaria and other tropical diseases. Understanding this genetic profile is not just about history, it's about the future of medicine. Studies of Filipino genomes are helping scientists design better healthcare strategies, tailored to island populations. This shows once again that DNA is not just a record of the past, but a key to human survival. When we put all the evidence together, Filipino DNA reads like a chronicle of human history. It records encounters with extinct humans, survival through migrations, adaptation to new environments, and centuries of cultural contact. It's strange not because it's confusing, but because it is so uniquely layered. Few populations can claim to carry such ancient signals alongside such modern diversity. In many ways, the Philippines is a mirror of humanity itself, a place where different strands of our shared history meet, mix, and continue to evolve. So, why is Filipino DNA the strangest in the world? Because it contains echoes from the deepest past and imprints from the global present, all compressed into a single genetic legacy. If you enjoyed this journey into human history, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Medieval Mind, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an exploration into the past. 
written in our DNA.